Hi all, Christine Beyer here, licensed master esthetician for about 19 years. And today I just wanted to do a Q&A. For those of you who don't know, I have a, a Facebook group where if you've bought from me in the last year, then you can join that group. And it's a way that I say thank you and I provide continued support to all my customers. So on there, I was asking the gals for inspiration for my next video. And I got a lot of questions and a lot of inspiration. So I wanted to answer the first one. And just so you know, um, there's actually a sale going on in there right now. And that's going on for the next few days. I have those about every month or so. And it's also another way for you to stay in the know with that. And these are special sales that you really won't see anywhere else on the internet. And I can't advertise them across the net, but I can put them in that closed Facebook group. Let's see what the first question is. So Jocelyn asks, how do I get rid of lines beside the mouth or harsh frown lines between the eyebrows, dark circles under the eyes? I could go on and on. <laughs> so let's just start with the first one because that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. So basically what she's talking about is the marionette lines that happen to people. This happens because of a couple of reasons. It happens because of the depleted collagen as we age and muscle strength of muscles underneath here. So we're gonna talk about how to release that. Oh, it's also called resting bitch face because you think about it, you're sitting at work or you're working in front of your computer and you're not smiling like a crazy clown. You're, you're frowning and you're, you're in resting bitch face. So you're doing this. Some of my clients do it really well <laughs> or they'll fall asleep and they'll, fall, they'll pull into a deep frown. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> because I've been releasing it, you know, I'm like, stop it, stop it. Let's release that. And let me show you what's going on. I've talked about this before, but never, never hurts to review. So what happens is a lot of muscles come together here in the corner of your mouth, right? And so this will make a little ball. And so this starts moving as a unit rather than sliding and gliding like they're supposed to, right? And then right here, these depressing depressors or the triangularis, they get really tight. And keep in mind that this plastic surgeons, when they're doing like a major overhaul, like a deep plane facelift, they'll go in and they'll cut, they'll cut these muscles because they get so compacted on people and they're not gonna be doing facial contouring massage or fascia release during surgery. They're not, they're just cutting. So what we need to do is we need to release both of these balls Right, so a ball forms here, and a ball forms essentially here. And we need to release all that. So let me show you how. So you grab, you put your finger, you anchor your finger right here, right in the corner, okay? And then you're gonna start pulling in a triangle from the corner of your mouth down. And this is a light, light movement. You always go lighter before you go deeper. Now you can use your hands for this, you can use the Anma for this. I love this little guy for this area. Oh, it's so wonderful. Just use your fingers to start, all right? So we're gonna do this lightly. And when you feel like the biggest pocket of tension, just, just kind of whittle away at it. Whittle, 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 whittle. Now, if this is really compacted on you, you're gonna have to do this daily. And you can sit there in your car at the stoplight, <laughs> you know and whittle away at this but remember you're going you're going in different directions because of that triangle you need to get you need to find where because sometimes i'll be working on clients and i feel the most tension diagonally right and sometimes i feel it straight up and down but you just got to feel for it but it will release and clients they're like oh my god you know it's one of those big payoff moves i had a client she was actually my first client to see me once i moved back to indiana i adore her and she has since moved out of state and she got uh, a series of 12 microcurrents done and she sent me before and afters and she was pissed. She's like, look at my, look at my marionette lines. They don't look any better. And so she complained to her esthetician out there because this, this is a knowledge set. This is a knowledge set. This is, I've taken so many classes on this. I'm not, I've traveled. This is a knowledge set that not everybody knows. So she got this done and she still had really bad marionette lines, AKA resting bitch face lines. And she was upset. And the gal, the, I guess the esthetician said, you know, we could do another 12 sessions where I'm really focusing on your neck in this area. 
but she declined and I don't blame her. Uh, I told her to tell her esthetician to go to Jane Mann's classes or take them online because th this is a knowledge set that not everybody knows and, it, and it, it should be aesthetics 101 because it can really make your face look way better. They can walk out the door looking fantastic and so happy. So we're doing this, we're releasing in the triangle, releasing, releasing. And once you've gone lighter, remember fascia's light, it's like a nickel's worth of pressure. You can also do a little stretching, just a little. The trick to this is to, to maintain tension between the two points. And it just loosens it up a little more. Do not stretch like a mad woman. This is maybe a nickel's worth of pressure. Lighter is better to start. And then once you've released the fascia, you can dig past that to the muscle, right? and really go in there where you're feeling those balls. So this is the first part. It also pays to do this. Go in there and work out that ball. So we're working on releasing both the balls, the balls that form here and here, right? So we release this, now we're gonna release this. And it feels good, you know? And then sometimes I'll do what's called duck, duck lips. Mm, this feels good. <laughs> but I try not to do that much because I've had a lot of work here with the fibroblast to lift my, my long philtrum. <laughs> that being said, we've released this ball. We've released this ball. Now we need to go up underneath the neck. And for that, I love the Anma. So here we go. So kind of pull that, pull your face into, uh, like crushing it out to activate those muscles. Because okay. these connect up underneath here, right? Up underneath the, the, the neck. And we need to release those too. As a matter of fact, I actually had Botox years ago, the first time I ever had it. The guy did some off-label Botox right there and it hurt but um i think it did release it a little so that's also an option if you get a kind of out of the box thinking doctor and you have those really bad so yeah and i I'll like to go in and get what i couldn't get with my fingers with the onma because this thing is golden for this area oh and it feels good Now, I'm going harder because we first, we f I first went lighter. You can't just go full force on it. You gotta go um, lighter before you go deeper. So that's it. That's it. That's how you release that. And you do it on a regular basis and you will have resting bitch face no more. <laughs> and say goodbye to your marionette lines. Now, you could have fat on either side and it could be more difficult than that, but that will turn, that will give you, with time, it will work out that really balled up depressor and these will, your, your muscles will come up. There are some cases, like if you've had braces or a lot of dental work that has affected your bite and you're later, you know, p past 40. I was doing an online consult with a client the other day and she had had recent dental work, but she was in her 60s. And so her cheeks were overcompensating and we did all this work and it still wasn't releasing. And so I was looking at her and I was like, okay, we need to go in here. And you need, she needed to release her risorus, which is up underneath here. It's a smile muscle. Because all this was balled up on her too. So you have to think in, in terms of balls. Optimally would be sliding and gliding together and they're like a can't, muscles work together in sort of a cantilever effect, right? So if we, uh, if, they're, if they're just moving as a big block or a big unit because they're so tense and so congested and stressed, then all this other work, it's not gonna fall in place. And so what I do, you know, she, she released that with me and then I'm like, let's release those cheeks. So we release the rosaurus and this you have to fill, a, fill around a little bit for because it's up underneath a couple muscles. So it's your smile muscle. I guess there's a whole population of people in um, Norway that don't even have, like 60% like of the population doesn't even have this muscle. 
could be another place, but the one country in Northern Europe doesn't even have this muscle. That was crazy. And so when you release that, this, the cheek will pop up and this will fill up with fresh, fresh blood supply because it's essentially, the face is just not flowing. It's just not flowing. So releasing the balls in the face gets it fresh blood supply. You get better lymphatic drainage and you look fantastic. That's the video for today. And if you have questions, please post a comment. Please subscribe to my video. Consider joining our group through a purchase. I think you'd love it in there. And I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you.